What we're speaking about here this morning is universal spirituality. These basic principles are taught in East and West. Taught in the East as having to do with attraction and avoidance. Giving up attraction and avoidance. Spoken of in Western traditions, two ways that stand out to me. One is in the 23rd Psalm, very familiar line, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. I shall not want. I suppose there's two ways someone might take that. I, w I won't be lacking anything. That seems a little whimsical. There's another way to understand it, which is, I will not be in the position of trying to satisfy the needs that I think I have, I shall not want. I'll live, I'll live with whatever lacks I perceive. And then the, the, the psalm goes on to speak so beautifully about what it means to allow God into your life and be led by that in your life. He leads me down in green pastures, but beside the still waters. And it's so beautiful to speak about the peace that comes into the soul when we, de we deal nobly with integrity around the perceived wants that we have or needs that we have in our life. The other way it's spoken about was by Jesus in his prayer that he taught us. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. It's not all about my perceived needs or wants. It's about the divine, the will of the divine, the wisdom of the divine. For yours is the kingdom, the power and the glory. Yours is the pattern of life out there in, in the wilds of Africa. It's the kingdom of the creator, the creator in all things. And right here in my life, in your life, this, this kingdom belongs to the creator. That doesn't exclude us. We are part of that picture. As are all of God's creatures and all of creation. And we have this remarkable opportunity to be conscious and intelligent and wise and knowing that. And it is the power of creator, which is the power of love. That's your power, it's your power. Here we practice a universal spirituality, a global spirituality that we hold in common with all people. It is a primal spirituality. It's inbuilt, it's innate. It's who we are. I was thinking, it's also an improvisational spirituality. <laughs> we get to make it up as we go along and, and find what it is that really cracks us open and allows to pour through the joy of life, the wisdom of life the knowing of what is true, what is true. So we're here to share that, you and me, here and now, amongst ourselves, and to share that with anybody who will listen, anybody who will listen. <laughs>